Yo, what up, what up, guys? It's been it's been a while. It's been about almost a week, I think, since I've uploaded a video. I was uh, last week on Friday. I was recording like three videos, and my my software, my camera, everything just was not working. So I decided to take the weekend off. I also had a lot of school and personal problems going on. So boring. Let's just get straight into this next game. It's called Don't Open Your Eyes. But the don't is like in parentheses. So should I open my eyes? Oh, guess what I got? Look at this. Oh, this is a text-based game. Please keep your eyes open to fully enjoy the experience. Headphones are... Uh, don't open your eyes. Ah, oh, shit. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's a fake knife, YouTube. It's a fake knife. Don't... Don't take down my video. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Alright, let's go to sleep. Turn off the lights. I leave aside the book I'd been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. And we close our eyes. Too quiet. Yeah, it's a little too quiet. I don't. Oh, that's gonna shadow. I feel restless. Why don't we keep the door open? Can we close the door? My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I know since I've made it a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three. Abstin. My nope. Nope. But always, I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness. Like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Is that how you say it? Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. Then close the door, shall we? So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Okay, I guess the door stays open. Then we go to sleep. In my room. I got a scream shirt or sweater on, so I mean, is Ghostface gonna come kill me? The sweater's fucking dope though, like look at it. That's fine. Okay. Oh my god. In my room, there's a bed. In my room, there's a closet. A wardrobe. A dresser. Wardrobe. There's a wardrobe. In my room, there is a wall. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Oh, whoops. Dot dot dot. Question mark? What's that sound? The thump. Are those footsteps? Ba dum. Ba dum. No, that's impossible. 
It must be my imagination. Oh, I keep pressing right click. Jesus. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They are gone. They are in my room. That's the only explanation. Right. There's no way someone could be there. Um. Hey. Hey. I'm good. Thank you. No. I won't open my eyes. Open your eyes. I'm not opening my eyes, man. Look at me. Mm -mm. I'm okay. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Because I don't want to look at you. Where are your manners? I have manners, okay? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? But I'm not ignoring is you. That I just. How it is? No. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. Okay. I have never seen myself before. Uh -huh. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. Should I? So you can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy. Okay. So I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere. And soon, you will forget. Okay. Like a faded dream. I am. I know you're not asleep. I am asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. So fragile. Like I could almost grab them. I feel something caress my ear. Put my fingers around them. Please get your hands off of me. And tear them off. Yo! Yo, 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 yo. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. Probably. I probably will. I hear your voice. Yeah, you will. Okay. Deck him right in the fucking joke. face. You don't, 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 don't. I'm joking. Don't joke like don't that, bro. I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Hey. Hey. How do you think my eyes look? Uh, I think they look fucking like Your case is finally. Big eyes. Oh fuck! What do I put? They look empty. They look lost. They look broken. Put lost. They look lost. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. Days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. The thought terrifies me. 
Oh, my camera went off. Okay. Even if there's nothing to see. That way, nothing will slip away. No matter where it goes. And no matter where it hides. No matter how terrifying the world might be. No matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process. I mean, yes. No, those aren't your eyes. Is that so? Then. Because he was talking about how he has like a, an objective, right? And he has not blinked, so he's not lost. How do you think my eyes look when our cases finally meet? What will you find? Answer me. Broken. They look broken. Yes. Damn! It may be so. I'm always training my sight to stare at what's in front of me, searching for that one precious thing. Uh -huh. That's what drives me to look inside places such as this. But sometimes I strain so hard. Pieces seem to fall off my face. One after another, making a cracking sound as they go. That is terrifying. A sound like... This. You. In my desperation, I always attempt to piece them back together. That was disgusting. I kneel and search for the missing fragments of myself, but they are never there. Maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach, and that makes me sad. So sad, I put my hands where my eyes should be, and I borrow my fingers, and I take it out. I take everything out. Every little piece that remains. Yeah. So pretty. Oh, 
my god, you're flattering me. Stop. The breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. Okay. It's fine. We still have time. The night is still and silent. This is disturbing. People are good at closing their doors. Do you know what a door is? I do know of what a door is. You know. That is true. Why is that? Are you afraid? Yes. Do I scare you? Yes. No. That can't be it. We have been chatting for so long. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand. Something moves over my bed. She would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm. Because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look? When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Answer me. They look tired. Because he's always looking around, you know? Also, he, he caught me like in a trance. I was like, I was like, I was so invested in it. They look tired. They look tired. That is not what I meant by tired. That these fingers of mine have touched so many things. <laughs> Pause! Surfaces that I travel in 
their sensations reach the core of my brain. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish. Caressing, grabbing, clawing, no matter the time of day. No matter if I'm awake or asleep. As if they had a mind of their own. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin, is irresistible. They want more. They want to feel closer. To have it between them and around them. More and more and more. Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I, then to hand, I take over and stretch, 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 and they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time, but they grow, just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside, discarded, and forgotten. That's why they are tired, because they never stop seeking, and most likely, never will. Hey, hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp, have you? These hands... Are these... My hands? Yes. Good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. Your eyes. I'm good. I'm okay. Thank you. No thank you. So you no. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. I don't think our hands are the same, homie. Think about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm looking at it. They are not the same. Maybe you and I are similar. I don't think so. No. I know we are. I don't think so. I can feel it in my skin. I can also feel... Oh. Uh-oh. You heard my heartbeat. Uh-oh. You heard it again. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Uh -huh. My skin is pulsating. Oh, that's your heartbeat. Um. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Okay. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. You look great. But... It's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land, and ask them all the same question, someone will answer. There's no doubt about it, but... It might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different if it's you. It might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Ah, uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Alive. Feel... Oh. Something. I cannot describe... I am not good... Oops. With words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must
must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. What the fuck? But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Fine, I'll look at you. There it is again. Fine. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Chill! <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey. Hey. What does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. A cheerful smile. A cheerful smile. Yeah. That's not cheerful! I don't think that's cheerful! So, it went on. It has been so, so long. I can no longer remember where it all began. To say it had a beginning. Maybe the starting point is that faint memory. The earliest one I can recall. I was walking, and for some reason, it was daytime. I rarely travel during the daytime. Only when the fear of being seen isn't there. So I must have believed that was the case. But it's strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city, one full of people, I couldn't see them, but I'm hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt, completely motionless, completely silent, living in weight of their deaths, and what's more, none dared to look at me, did they even know I was there? Maybe. feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me, living in fear of what others might think. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. It's my earliest memory, and my most joyful one. No experience afterwards had made me want to smile more than that. So if you say I am smiling, then surely, that's how it must be. But tonight, I'm not joyful. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Wow, that is depressing. Hey, have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face? When in reality, you're feeling anything but. Have you? Wow. Yeah. This expression. Is this my expression? Is that so? Then, what does my expression look like when that 
fill of uncertainty finally disappears. What will we convey to each other? Answer me. An emotionless stare. That looks about right. That may be so. Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel, it is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second, turning old and perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago, longer than any person has ever journeyed. Damn. And in my life, I have seen others born and die, born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting, and yet so many things happen to them. So it is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me, save for a minuscule number. They are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray. Lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it, but I cannot. He feels something. It's so. not emotion. Then, what does my ex when that fell of answer me? A surprised grimace. That may be so. Tonight is the first I hear about my eyes or my hands, and the new and unexpected is always a source of surprise. People always act surprised when I show myself before them. So it makes sense that my appearance would surprise me as well. At times, they stop moving, merely looking at me in awe. At others, they scream and run and exhaust themselves to the point they can't think. Others, they don't feel much at all. They sit and stay and attempt to talk. I don't like when they do that. It's like they are not seeing me, not recognizing me. I'm much 
much prefer when they freeze. I much prefer when they scream. Yo, do you want me to look at you or not? Because this is this is not her mm -mm. reaction. Is what I want. It's a sign that I am there, and that my existence means something to them. That's why I like you. You did not scream, yet you did not run either. You were surprised and averted your eyes, but instead you stayed, listening, acknowledging. You are the first to do this for me. You are new and unexpected. Yet, how odd. Is this really a surprise? No, you say it is, so it must be true. But what I'm feeling right now, what I'm experiencing, it's not the same as those who've seen me. Connection with you too. Of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. Yes. You need to make sure of the truth. Okay. It is the only way to finally understand each other. Okay. So please, I beg of you. I got you. Open your eyes. Okay, fine. Let me save. Okay. There's nothing there. The fuck? <sighs> Bitch! I'm going back. No. You're not there. You're gonna run away. And you know it. You'll run away. I opened my eyes for you, but you ran away. Maybe you're not you even real. Help me by answering my questions. You're welcome. No one has done that for me before. You're welcome. So I have no right to ask for anything else. You're welcome. No. What? That is a lie. What is? Ever since I stepped into this room. Uh-huh. You have refused to engage with me. I opened my eyes, motherfucker, and you ran! Not even once. I opened them! You're making me voice crack. Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. I opened them, bitch. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? I did open my eyes. Not even once. Did you look at my face? I tried, but you ran away. You stayed there. Acting as if you were asleep. You're the bitch here that runs away. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. We're talking right now. You haven't opened your mouth. I, excuse me. I have been talking. But you didn't need to. I hope I talked. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. But yeah. I can't see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know. You know what? That I wasn't wrong. You are like me. I'm not like you. Chill. You're flattering yourself. We are the same. 
Mm -mm. You two, look for what's not there. You two, reach out for what might hurt you. And you two, are a liar. The type that shows one thing, and feels another. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. Yes. You won't open your eyes. I will. Ah, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend. What? Fuck you. If 
back to your input now. You had your chance. It's not up to you. You I Does he kill me now? Oh, he kills me. Okay, uh, it's the same thing. Tell me what. That was. That one. Open, open them. Open them now. Whoa, dude, that this part scared the shit out of me. Damn, that was fucking crazy. That that disturbed me. I was scared out of my fucking mind, bro. That was scary. When he was calling me, a, this whole shit has a deeper meaning, and it's that was fucking crazy. Um, yeah. If you guys would like to see more of this game, you know, a different answer, see see if I can find a different ending. Uh, let me know down in the comments or by liking the video, and uh, I'll revisit this game. But for right now, that was terrifying. That was that was the voice acting was fucking crazy. The it was crazy, bro. Like. That voice actor, whoever did the voice was, mwah, that was fucking perfect. That just shivers, bro. Holy crap. Uh, well, yeah, that was open your eyes or don't open your eyes. Um, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Uh, please make sure to leave a like. Um, I'll see if I upload every day again or I'll just upload every other day. Um, I'll see, depending on how this video does. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. It means so much to me. Uh, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. It will mean so much and it will help out so much. Yeah, um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day or night, and I will see you later. Or in the next video, like I said. <laughs> Peace out, guys.